Welcome back to Alpine Garage Sports. You can tell by the video above me here that we are not talking necessarily about football today, but we kind of are. I'm also not wearing my trademark Colorado hat. I'm wearing my Ford Bronco hat, and this is because we are talking about Travis Hunter and his new NIL deal with Ford. Now, why is this such a big deal? He has a lot of other probably very much bigger brands that he represents, similar to uh, Michael Strahan brand. But this particular one is actually a local dealership. And we're going to go into that. Now, why this deal is such a big deal to me in Colorado is the fact that this is really the first time that we've seen a big vehicle with one of our new guys coming in because these athletes now are making some money and they're allowed to have these kinds of things. And we're seeing, you know, the coaches and we're seeing Bucky get new vehicles. And now for the first time that I've seen anyway, we have a new vehicle on set. And you can see in this picture right here, Travis is sitting on top of a 2023 Ford Ranger that has a pretty cool lift on it. And I'm gonna go into the specifics of, of that vehicle here in just a minute. But he's sitting in the middle of Champion Center on top of his vehicle. Now I've had my Bronco out there, I don't know, 17 dozen times. And I always thought about creeping up in there and getting a quick photograph but I know I would be banned from CU for life, and that isn't probably what I need to be doing at this point. So, but it is cool to see that picture. That's a great snapshot, and that embodies Colorado and Colorado football right now. Now, let's talk about Travis for just a second. He is ranked number three on on three's NIL for football, for college football, and he's number five overall in the top 100. So, he is worth a lot of money. His brand is growing exponentially every single time he takes the field. And at this point, his valuation is in the $1.7 million range. He has 1.3 million followers on social media. And he has brands like Michael Strahan brand, which is one of his biggest brands, Actively Black. So Hoodie and Greenwood are all listed. Now, I'm sure he has a lot of other ones that he does. But this Phil Long Ford one is super special to me. And here's the reason why. Now we're adding Ford and we're adding the dealership that I bought my Bronco from. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a second channel called Alpine Garage, and it is actually Ford-based. And half of that channel is for the new Ford Bronco, and half of the channel is for the old ones that we restore. So we got our first edition Ford Bronco from Phil Long Ford in Chapel Hills. This is in Colorado Springs. We had to wait like almost a year and a half to get it. So we were one of the first ones to order it, and we waited and we waited. And if you go through my videos on that channel, there's a whole lot of discussion about you know, the wait, it was during COVID, parts weren't available, but what it did was it made getting the vehicle even sweeter. Now, during that time, the Ranger actually became super popular because they were in much better availability and they're built on the same platform. And because of that, now you get something similar to the Bronco, but you also get a bed. So for people who like to have pickups, which I do, the Ranger is an amazing vehicle. Now let's show his vehicle. So he's sitting on top of a 23 Ford Ranger it's all blacked out. You can see all the accessories, the grill, everything's blacked out. It's got a pretty big lift on it. So we're talking about maybe a five inch or more lift, big enough to where they can put 35 inch tires underneath. Now, why are 35 inch tires important? In Colorado, we have a lot of crawling, which you'll see. This isn't crawling right above me here. This is the Alpine Loop. I'm gonna link that video down below. So if you wanna see what Colorado looks like in the backcountry, and Travis, if you're watching this, Man, I can take you on this trip, kind of get you involved in four-wheeling in Colorado if you want to do it. it. One of the most beautiful areas in Colorado, and it's a complete loop. There's waterfalls, things like that. In order to get through some of the trails in Colorado, you need a minimum of a 35-inch tire and wheel. And the reason why that is is because there's a little bit of rock crawling involved. So you got to get up and over boulders and things like that. And that 35-inch, along with like a 5-inch or more lift on that truck, will give it enough lift to allow it to get through these trails. You're starting to see this thing is like linking Travis to Colorado. I mean, it's really amazing. Now it's got aftermarket bumpers and light bars on it so that when you're out in the back country, you're constantly scraping up your bumpers because of the low clearance. It's on rocks and trees and, and the ground and things like that because you're flexing it all out. So those aftermarket bumpers actually come up a little bit and they tuck into the frame a little bit more to give you a little bit more clearance. The light bar is really good for early morning and late evening wheeling. Those light bars make all the difference in the world. I've got them on my bumpers. I've got them on the top of my truck. I've got, I've got ditch lights on the sides. 
Uh, it's all rigged out. These vehicles come with accessory switches to turn all this stuff on and off. It's just amazing. Now, the heartbeat of this thing is a 2.3 liter twin turbo engine that produces about 270 horsepower, 310 pounds of torque. Now that's a big deal because over 300 pounds of torque, this thing, as light as it is and as small as it is, is gonna get through our backcountry with no problem whatsoever. Now let's talk about Colorado and this vehicle. So I watched, I looked at his post that he put on Instagram and there's a whole lot of trolls on his post. That's one of the things I don't like about Instagram is it's really hard to keep that stuff out of there. But you know, people are talking about how why, why he didn't get a full size truck and that it's just a Ranger and things like that. But I wanna tell you guys this, Ford made a change a little while ago or to focus on these smaller platform vehicles because the Bronco was coming out. And now keep in mind, I had a full size Ford Raptor. Race red, huge lift, giant tires, this thing was massive. I've been a truck guy my entire life. And I traded it for the smaller platform Bronco. And the reason why that is, is wheeling here in Colorado, big wide trucks, our trails aren't that wide. And when you're hanging on a shelf road and you've got 1500 feet of nothing before the bottom of a gravel pit in a river, you wanna have a narrow vehicle because you gotta pull off to the side and let people articulate around you. It's a dance, man. When you got a big vehicle, not only does it make it hard to get to where you can get around things, but also the length is not good for articulation around these trails. That's where the Ranger comes in. The Ranger is a smaller platform. So not only is it narrower, but it's also shorter. The wheelbase is a little bit shorter. So when you lift that thing and put bigger tires on it, it's as good as a Bronco in a lot of cases. Still a little bit longer, but still works in that. Now, you ask yourself, Chris, is Travis even going to do this? And maybe he's not. But man, does that look good. When he's driving around town, it is going to be hot. Those Rangers lifted with all the accessories on them are lights out. And he can do even more to that vehicle for almost no money. In fact, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to pay for any of it. And put ditch lights on it and put a, uh, put a rear rack on it with a, with a tent, kind of similar to the one that we have. And he can go out in the back country and get lost with his girlfriend for days. And if he can get into the backcountry and enjoy some fly fishing back there with his girlfriend and, and see Colorado at its most beautiful, that's what he should do. And this vehicle is going to get him there. Now, Travis, if you're watching this, I know this backcountry like the back of my hand. And I can take you out there and kind of get you indoctrinated into this. I mean, nothing crazy, but at the same time, I want you to be able to use your vehicle, get some really hot Instagram posts for your channel and some good video as well, because obviously, if you watch my other channel, I do a lot of backcountry videography, and I can help you out with that, man. I can film that, I can send you this clips, and we can set this thing off. Similar to what I wanna do with Hart and Pollock, I wanna get these guys out and show them the core of Colorado culture out in the backcountry. And for those of you who are not from Colorado, who don't do that, man, it will blow your mind. That is a wrap from Alpine Garage Sports. Please like this video and we have more coming. This is just a fun little thing. I actually got a hold of one of my salespeople at Phil Long Four Chapel Hills and I'm telling you there's more to come. We will see you in the next video and if you haven't already heard, we coming.